there it is. That's the most advanced prototype they have. Oh! Oh, shit. We just stopped in the middle of the road here. So we just got to the testing site now and there it is. That's the most advanced prototype they have. So I'm super excited to take it onto the road now and let's see what it can do. Wow, the interior interior is looking much better huh, in this one already. <laughs> better, than, better than the other one. Mate, is that the way it's gonna be eventually or? Yeah, with duct tape and everything. With, <laughs> with yeah, duct tape. That comes for free. That's a, a year of difference in development and <laughs> countless of, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of man hours of uh, engineering and development. So Nico, this is a much more advanced prototype. So it's basically 90% hardware-wise what the production car will be. So let's say the battery, the powertrain are already quite there. In terms of a straight line acceleration, you will have about 75 to 80% of performance. Yeah, so what are we looking at, 2.4? 200? Yeah. Something like that, I would say, 2.4, 2.5. The steering rack is electric, but it has it has a mechanical connection to the to the wheels. Yeah. But it's also steered by wire for the autonomous driving functions. Okay. So that's something that most other hypercars don't have. They have yeah. a hydraulic steering rack. Yeah. Then the brakes uh, also. I mean, the brakes work, but yeah. uh, the brake pedal still is not tuned at all. Yeah. So it's an electro hydraulic brake. So let's say when the battery is full, you press the brake pedal, you get only mechanical brakes, and then when the battery discharges, uh, you brake, and you should get the same feeling but the car would manage between the electrical braking yeah. and the mechanical. Just like my Formula 1 car. Just like your Formula yes. 1 car, but that requires still a lot of tuning. But the brake as such always works or nearly always? It works always, don't worry about okay. it. The brake works. I'm sorry, I'm getting more and more nervous at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you will feel the car very quickly. Ah, awesome. So this is the this is the track mode and all that, right? Yeah, this changes the mode. And what's on here? So this is where you adjust the performance in the front and the rear. Yeah. So you can see here front powertrain and rear powertrain. So yeah. you have now 50% in the front and 50 in the rear. Yeah. So you can adjust independently. So rear, now you can have, for example, let's put 90% in the rear. And wow. You hear the rear uh, cooling spooling up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can have just 20% in the front or 22, whatever you want. Yeah. Then this is the modes. So sport mode drift mode. And this one is track mode, yeah. which makes the car very stiff. Yeah. Then you have your custom modes, mode one and two, which you can adjust as ever you wish. Yeah. And cruise mode. So that's basically, and range. Range is like minimum consumption. That doesn't interest us for today. That's not so interesting for us. No. Yeah. So you have the honor, Nico, to be the first one to yes, drive. that's amazing. The advanced that's, prototype. That's really amazing. And, you know, I'm really looking forward that you, yeah. Slobana, I'm, looking, I'm really looking forward that you have the opportunity to drive the car in its finished form or almost finished. So there's still a lot of work to do to get there. But and then you, we take it on the track. And right? then we take it on so the track. So subscribe for that one because that will be coming soon in the yeah. next video. And you'll be the first one. I promised you to be the first one to drive it on the track. So we'll get there fast as well. So just you know, when you put it in track mode, the suspension gets much stiffer. Yeah, can we do that now? You can try it. Yeah. It's incredible uh, how what a long time it still takes to develop the last five percent of, oh, yeah. of the car. That's the hardest part. That's incredible. So you can still hear the noise, the stone chipping. Yeah. So for example, the door is really wide, and most of the stone chipping happens on the door. Yeah. And when you open up the door, you can see the underside. So we want it to be carbon. Yeah. But. Then you hear the stone chipping, so we would like to put something like a carpet there. Yeah. It will remove the stone chipping noise, but then you see the carpet when you open the door instead of the carpet. But can't you do heli tape? What's heli tape? Heli tape is a see through carpet. But you, you would see the carbon through it? Yeah. Yeah? And it wouldn't get sticky? Like the stones wouldn't get sticky to it? No. Okay, that's maybe an option. 
that's need how, to uh, test. That's how the LaFerrari does it. Ah, yeah, 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 but I don't think that helps, helps with the noise of stone chipping. It helps with damaging, yeah. but not with the noise. Can make it thicker? Maybe something to try. Usually you do that with a, like, a smooth uh, and soft carpet. Yeah. Because the, the McLaren P1 also has a, uh, has a terrible noise on the stone chipping. Yeah. And they didn't have any solution. Yeah, but they have a combustion engine, we don't. Now we're good to go. To drive a little bit more? Yeah. yeah. I think you're losing some money. Yes, but it wasn't me. I think we're losing some points. <laughs> you sure it's safe to push the car a little bit, huh? Yeah, quite. surfaces and it's easy to see out yeah. into the sides and big mirrors and so on yeah. so that was also important and you have quite a lot of room inside the car maybe we go back and you do a drive without me yeah. uh, okay. to try the track mode yeah i think it would be good if you had our test driver with you for the track mode he was testing it a lot okay so we got miro back in the house okay. the um, lead test driver here at remag so um you're going to explain to us track mode What's yes. the so track mode, the difference is that the suspension is a little bit stiffer. Yeah. The dampers are stiffer, and yeah. you also have torque vectoring mode a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. So what that helps you is the turn in with the car. Yeah. So it, it induces more yaw basically. Yeah. And faster reach the top of lateral acceleration. Okay. So the car feels even more nimble than yeah. it is in, in sport mode. Okay. So you can feel when you go into the corner, so on and off throttle you will feel that the car is yawing more. So yeah. we have torque vectoring and we have four electric motors that are independent. So yeah. they are uh, wow, basically the, the computer is calculating how much torque you need on each wheel yeah. to maximize the grip of the tire. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you have maximum uh, energy harvesting on as well. Like I'm not even braking. Yeah. And the, thing, the thing is hitting the brakes like normally on any other road car, maximum yeah. braking is impressive. Yes. And you have the full potential for power. Matt is, uh, Matt is saying. Uh... Okay, we'll stop to the right. Okay, so we're in the middle of the mountains now. We just stopped in the middle of the road here uh, because <laughs> there was just this tiny brake thing, uh, and they they preferred to stop just to fix it up quickly. Um, so that's the end of our test drive here today. I need to get back to the other side of the road. Um, but uh, anyways, you know, we've got the, got the content for you. I think it was super exciting for you to follow as well and super exciting for me to drive. First experience also driving such a prototype. 
which and it's so cool you know because you feel like little things here little things there where you know that they're still gonna work on it to try and to try and perfect it and I'm impressed by how much of an effort it is the last five percent in developing such a road car such a high performance vehicle like the last five percent is such a mission you know in every area like the braking the feel of the pedal the accelerator the feel everything to get everything like from 95 to 100 percent huge mission so huge respect uh, to, to Matt and his team as well to to uh, create such a mean machine um, and now we're just going to jump in the car and we're going to say bye to Mate and uh, and then that's it Mate thank you very much thank what you was uh, what, if you had one worry this morning what was it oh, that something would go wrong with the car <laughs> mission fulfilled <laughs> <laughs> it was just a tiny thing so so that's fine and anyways I really I enjoyed it I, I got to experience it so the merit really, of development you really now know how it is to develop something no but honestly that I've never driven a development car I am like, I have huge respect for you guys for like, the, for this last, as I said before in the video, but the last 10%, oh my God. That's 90% of the work. How crazy. And then with this electric powertrain, uh, the whole torque factoring, I mean, you said there's like so many components. Yeah, that huge have respect. to interact, work together, talk to each other, uh, act in a certain way if something goes wrong. So lots of, lots of things. But soon that will be over, I think, in the next six months. You saw the progress from the early prototype that we drove today yeah, yeah, yeah. to the factory and this advanced prototype which is a huge leap and that's the next leap we are going to do in six months to finish the car and then you get to drive it properly on the track so and you have to subscribe because Martin made a promise and that is that the next you'll video you'll be the first one to, to drive it on the track awesome the subscribe so you don't miss, miss that out thank you very much bye 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 thank you Martin bye thank you thank you thank you Marta Marta thank chief you. of communications she's, she's been the boss today right <laughs> Always. <laughs> Thank you very much to the whole team, uh, Alex, Ruben. Thank you. Bye 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 bye. bye.